Good day, dear friends. Welcome to Exorcist Art. My name is Chrissy. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, hi, Shandri. Hi, Cherry. I just want to say a very quick hello before I get into this, seeing as that you're here. Um, okay. Well, yeah, daylight saving has started here uh, on the east coast of Australia. So, um, you know, it's never used to be like that. It used to be like the end of October, but okay by me I don't mind I don't mind all right um, product uh, there's this product which I've discovered it's um, their watercolors their the manufacturer is Kusakabi so I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly and I've only just got a handful of colors I've got the primaries and two others which I really like the colors of to try before I invest more in this and also I wanted to talk about the what's called the uh, Kusakabi the Harmonia granulating colors now there's only just a handful of those I think it's about 24 of those but with the norm with the uh, regular shall we say there's a whole heap more so and what's really cool is that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, of course, it's a Japanese company. There's Japanese writing on the tubes, but thank goodness that they've given us some English. And I think thanks to Google, we can translate as well. So anyway, so what's really cool about this is that, um, uh, is, uh, that it's got, well, the number, if you wanted to go by the number when you're looking at their catalogue. The, their series are divided in letters, so it's A, B, C, not one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. Uh, so there's that. And then it gives you the light fast information. You can see the little four stars. And then on the back, it tells you how much it is, like what the contents, and it gives you the, um, the pigment information. Like this one is PBR27. Now I decided not to select ultramarine blue uh, I wanted Prussian blue okay to mix with uh, this one is the, and they call this one prime red again this is as you can see it's level it's series C that's the number on their catalog and if you look on the back it's P uh, sorry PR254 where is Ali when you need him <laughs> <laughs> he's probably he's probably his ears are burning our friend Ali who's our pigment our resident pigment uh, expert here we go lemon yellow and this one is series B uh, again this one is PY one oh my gosh one eight four um, and again yeah look that's you know and five mils and they also come in at 20 mil and but it's not the five mil comes in the the bigger range um, anyway so and this one I've decided to use turquoise blue this is series B and this one has it's really interesting uh, CI name I think all it has information is it's got non uh, non applicable uh, PG 38 well you know turquoise blue would have it have green in it wouldn't it yeah so and you know made in Japan light fast for all of these ones let me see where's the light fastness doesn't say anything about the yellow that's interesting or the red but it's got on the Prussian blue funny that uh, oh look I can't understand Japanese so I don't know um, and this one that I've decided I've got the permanent violet series B and this one's got PV 15 PV 23 and it's got N uh, like not applicable N slash A I can only think that that's what it is um, so they're the primary colors which I'm gonna play with today they're the only ones I got today <laughs> in fact and these are the ones that um, I'm absolutely fascinated with 
Uh, these are the Harmonia colors. What and this is the the granulation. You know, um, Daniel Smith have got something very similar. And who else can? If we're comparing apples with apples, uh, Schmenka have also got granulating colors. Uh, it seems like everyone's gone on the bandwagon. I think Daniel Smith were the only ones at one point that I can remember. If anything, please correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so... Uh, okay, hi. All we are in for a great day. Yes, yes. Hi, Vivian. Hello, hello. Um, Cherry says, yeah, hi, Chrissy. We'll be another hour earlier when our clocks change. Yes yeah you know it's like we're on different planets eh? <laughs> but it's not all right so what i've got here also is a cute little barn owl which i'm going to um, attempt to play with but i just thought i'd swatch these out just so you can see what they're like and i'm also going to swatch out the harmonia colors so you can see what they're like now if we're comparing oranges with oranges apples with apples you know i reckon there's your there's your uh granulating daniel smith there if we're going to ever go down that track if we have time and if we're talking about regular colors for the the kusakabi well you know holbein have got they're japanese and i thought that i would pick um, in case someone wanted to ask, you know, we're comparing, uh, you know, it's so hard to compare watercolor, isn't it? It's, it's a preference. It always is a preference. So if we're comparing and if you wanted to, we could go down that track, but here we go. Now the paper that I'm using, oh my gosh, I talk about it all the time. <laughs> Oh, you must be sick and tired of hearing me talk about it. Um, Armatruda. Armatruda is an Italian, very handmade paper. That's all I've got to say. It is the one of them. It is such a beautiful paper to work on. All right. So, uh, so much that I'll show you uh, some results of when I've used these when they're dry. Because who knows when we're going to talk about who knows when they're going to dry. Oh, hello, Sneaks. Good day, Deb. Okay, Paulo. Oh, here's another pigment expert. Paulo. Yes, we were talking about pigments. I'm not quite sure how much of this um, live stream you've um, heard so far. But look, let's go into... I'm just going to swatch these on the top. And let's see how we go. Uh, all right. Uh, just one moment. Um... I don't want to destroy oh, okay I just want to put this on top just for a moment while I put this to protect what I'm doing I always like even though I don't need to I think I, I'm always conscious of it so I'm um, um, this is a uh, Prussian blue coming out nicely uh, and of course I've got sort of like the primaries I mean Prussian blue it's not a primary it's a blue okay it's a blue <laughs> um, well lemon yellow it's a cool hey cherry remember our cools and warms it's a cool yellow and our Prussian blue is a warm blue so not sure how I'm gonna be mixing I think you always need warm and cool all of those you know you, you get a better for prime red this one um, look how beautiful and rich that is oh gosh I don't know if you can see that uh, turquoise blue let's put this one out so they come out the reason why I'm showing you is because I just need you to see right from the very beginning how they come out of the tube you know sometimes you know there's a bit of binder that's okay there's nothing wrong with that but I just thought I'd um, show you that anyway the permanent violet oh, you know one of my favorite colors well like an imperial violet imperial purple I don't know <laughs> and the granulating colors here we go castle green 
Now with the with the granulating colours, it's they've got you know a couple of pigments, and when they come together, they separate. Okay, okay. You can uh, you can get by using only the cool version of the colours. Here we go. I like. Uh, okay, like they do with printing C Y Y yes yes. C yeah. I love how oh, I just love this. I'm so glad that you're here, Paulo, because there's another fellow here which I'm not quite sure whether you've met, but his name is Ali. He's into pigments like you wouldn't believe. Oh my gosh. And he is our he is our almost a resident expert, but you're our expert today. Okay, so I've just this is Castle Green Phantom Mist. Uh Phantom Mist. And I think if we're going to, this is undersea green, if we're sort of comparing. And I'm not sure with the, with the Harmonia, the Phantom Mist, whether it's Bloodstone Genuine or whether it's Moon Glow. It's one of those two which are all in between that. So I tried to pick something which was close. So if we wanted to compare Arctic Ocean. All right, so... They're the three that I've got and let's put these away or let's not hang on let's just oh, look here I'll just do that they're just there all right here we go uh, here we go um, I think I might put these out I might just wait here. I might put these out a little bit on the dry because I really want you to see the color. So do you mind? I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so you get a really good idea. Uh, I'll zoom in. Just one moment. There we go. Uh, okay, Prussian blue. Okay, it's a bit odd. Here we go. Yes, so, and mind you, this paper, oh, honestly, it sounds like, I'm, um, sounds very, um, like I'm just a, a woman possessed but oh just beautiful just beautiful paper to work on I think you know what when we're talking about painting and it doesn't matter what's what medium you're working on the surface in my opinion is probably is number one that's for me number one okay really nice really nice um, I'm very curious about these watercolors because I haven't seen them before. Yeah, neither have I until, you know, neither have I. Oh. <laughs> Just, I feel stupid the way I carry on sometimes. Let, I'll leave that, I'll leave that to dry, leave that to dry before I go back in there. So I'll go in this area and what I'll do is I'll go red. I'll go red. This is, where is it? This one is prime red. So obviously you're not going to go that red, or you might, I don't know, in certain instances, but. Oh, oh. yeah, so for me, the most important thing, regardless of what medium I'm using, is the surface first. Always. The surface first. Uh, then the paint. Then the brush. To be honest. No, no, sorry. The brush, then the paint. And what I'll do is, I'll show you how this picks up after. 
even when it's dry. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go the violet here. Just waiting for that to dry, that's all. Um, yep. The colours are beautiful, rich, rich and vibrant and um, uh, let me see for, does it have, and it has, um, let me just see on it, sometimes the, the information, I'm just trying to see if there's like, for example, transparent information, if it's transparent or not. Okay, some of it's in Japanese, so I can't tell if it's saying that. Normally it's the symbol that happens, so. Okay. But that doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it probably does, sorry. What am I saying? It's watercolour. <laughs> but, yeah. But that's if you're into that kind of thing oh wow I just want to make this nice and neat for us there we go okay lemon yellow nice Now the brush that I'm using is uh, uh, Rosa. It's a Rosa brush. It's Raccoon. Um, so I just wanted to straighten that up. It does it beautifully there. This brush, very nice. Okay. Feeling good about this. This is very nice. Okay, so now we've got the turquoise. Okay. nice very nice so these are the five colors I don't think I put enough on there oh lovely very very nice Beautiful. I've got it running into there. <clears throat> very, very nice. Okay, so these are the the warm primaries that I have. Let's just put it that way. Thanks, Paula. <laughs> but very nice. Really, really like those. Very, very nice. Okay, now the uh, the Kusakabi uh, Harmonia. Okay, let me just put them there. There we go. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to go along here, I think. I'll go along here. This one reminds me of the Cascade Green. The Cascade, yeah. The, sorry, the Undersea Green or... A, Oh, hang on, I better move this here a little bit further out. Now it's best to see when that dries.
because that's when that's when you see the the effect yeah okay and the next one is phantom mist it's really nothing to to look at in the um, in the palette but um, the effect is really really nice in fact for something like this is really good for rocks and um, landscapes oh look this is already starting to show there's a there's a, a brown coming through already <gasps> And this one sort of has a bit of a violet, I think. I think it's a violet that comes through. Um. Hi, Nuria. Uh, did you change the time? No, darling. Um, it's it's daylight saving has started here in a, um, on the east coast of Australia. So, no, I didn't change the time. Um. It's going to be like this for a month until I think um, the rest of the world, because there are some countries that have day, daylight saving, and but even like in some states here in Australia don't have daylight saving. So I don't know. It's a I don't know. I've never known a world without daylight saving for me. Um, okay, so. Now, with the harmonia, there's all sorts of colors. There's golds and yellows and, you know, there's different variations. These are the three that I selected um, uh, to talk about. Okay. So, what we're doing, while we're waiting for this to dry, I have to show you something. Uh, oh, you're going to change the, um, the clock soon too. Yeah. Okay. So, while we're waiting for that to dry, let me just put this aside just for the moment. <laughs> okay. Um, this is something that I had prepared earlier. Sounds like a cooking, cooking show. But, okay. This is it here. These are the, these colors here that I played around with. There is that, see this color? This is the, oh, hang on, they're all hiding here. Um, where did it go? Oh, yeah, sorry. This is the Phantom Mist. That's what that does. That's the turquoise. I went to town with these. Um, there's the, uh, the green. What do we call it? Castle Green. Right, and where's the other one? And there's the uh, the Arctic Ocean. Now, what I did was I wanted to see if uh, any of these could, if I could mix these, uh, if I could mix these, you know, with other paints. And of course, all of these other beautiful things were happening. And of course, you've got to worry about, you know, not to create mud. So obviously. You just got to be a little bit more careful, but look at that. Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. Hi, Evergale. Hello. 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 Yeah. Just amazing. So like that was the, I was mixing yellow with, um, with that, where is it? The turquoise, which then moved into the, um, uh, the castle green it's just a, so we'll watch these dry and if you like we I can show you how we can pick up 
and it's all about the paper this time not about the paint being able to pick now I'm happy for I'm, and I know there's watercolor experts here and pigment experts here so I'm quite happy and to be corrected at any time that's fine but um, so yeah I mean look at this granulation I, I chose there was none there was no granulating medium or anything like that the paints were doing this in fact I think it's like the paper as well I think the paper helped as well don't you think you know but look at that that's just amazing enable time <laughs> where's Nanette <laughs> oh yeah 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 so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to, um, I don't think I'm going to finish this project, but I'm going to try to do as much as I possibly can. There's this barn ale, barn ale, really? Barn ale? Barn owl. <laughs> oh, where is my head? Um, barn owl. And I'm going to also use, now, all the things that we've been experimenting in, in uh, let me see uh, in the past so what I, I have to now zoom out so you can see what I'm doing here all right so but yes and we'll steadily watch that so you can actually see a, a beautiful lavender coming through this one you can see a lovely like a, a sienna a lovely sienna coming through that these are the harmonias oh. This is 10, oh, they come in 10 mil, okay, and yeah, and so these ones come in 5 mil and 20 mil for those who are interested. So let's just have a look how they all dry. Oh, yeah, that's better. Look at that. Love it. Very, very nice. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Kusakabi, you know what? There are so, we, we're so stuck. This is the thing. And and I'm one of them. Don't worry. I'm, you know, I'm one of them. Sometimes like we hear... Oh, let me just go into this. Okay, sorry. While I'm talking, uh, I'm going to be using masking uh, masking powder, and uh, there's some clouds which I want to uh, to mask. And what I might do is I might even mask just around here, so I don't. So I can do a lovely little wash. Sorry. So I can do a lovely little wash. How about I do that? Um, and uh, using these colors that we're um, uh, now Deb I've still got to get back to you about this all right um, so I haven't forgotten you okay I haven't forgotten um, all right so now I'm going to use this masking powder uh, this is the most amazing thing I have ever ever used anyway but I'm putting it to practice okay so there's some clouds here so what I'm going to do maybe I should just tip some out because I don't know how much I'm going to use and I don't want to blow or anything like that so okay so I'm thinking oh I'm thinking about here <laughs> so well this is good to see how this works here now they're clouds, so I don't know. Um, okay, have a nice weekend, Paulo. Thank you so much. Sadly, have to leave. I'll watch the rest of the stream later on. You got it, um, uh, Paulo. You haven't seen this, but this is this masking powder, not fluid. So when you come back to have a look at it, seriously, check this out when you see the results on that one. Um, okay. Okay, Jerry's Artarama posted a brush comparison today. Kalinsky Sable versus Synthetic. The Synthetic did at least as well as the Kalinsky. Oh, look. I have got a Synthetic mop brush here, which I wanted to... And it's Synthetic. And I totally agree, Deb. I totally agree. Sometimes, you know, I think each thing has a... Has its good and its bad points. It's pros and cons. Okay, so, but anyway... Uh, uh, I just want to uh, let me see there's a bit more cloud here here this is really weird when you're going to see this in action 
I've got to be careful. I've got to remember because it's white. I can't remember. I'll have to remember where I'm. I don't think I'm going to remember. But anyway, that doesn't matter because they're clouds. And so. Okay. And the beauty part is, is that I don't have to wait for this fluid to dry. The only thing I have to wait uh, to dry would be um, uh, the paint. <laughs> And I've got a blow. I've got a hair dryer with me, but I don't know. It creates now. I'm just going to go along here because I want to protect my owl as well when I'm painting. And I, I believe that the powder and the and the liquid masking masking powder and masking fluid all have a place. Now that I've discovered, now that I've discovered this, oh. Your options, you have you have more options. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, I mean, and of course it's white, so I can't see whether I've masked everything, but I'm just gonna go by by the eye. And yeah. 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 Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let's have a look. And it's always good to do this testing on projects. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, it's good to swatch, and you know I love my swatching. I love it, love it, love it. But then it comes to a time when you have to eventually do a project with it. <laughs> All right, and actually, you know what? I think uh, I'm going to have to mask in here as well while I'm at it. while I've got this powder. Um, I did do that, didn't I? Yes. Alright. Now, can I just tell you as well? Uh oh. Um, it doesn't do anything to my brush. There we go. So I could probably wash that with warm water and detergent. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I've got to zoom out. Okay. I've got to zoom out and I've got to um, just so we can see it all as a whole, how it all happens. Okay. Maybe I should just dedicate this brush for, you know, masking powder. I think, you know, I don't know. Okay, so you were talking, um, Deb, you were talking about synthetic versus, uh, well, you said, uh, well, Kalinsky Sable. Well, this is, say, hair versus synthetic. This is a Leonard brush. It's a mop brush. Uh, I love this brush. I did a I've done a lot with this um, versus the hair so if we can do that that would be good so leave that so we know with the hair because I've um, I've swatched but this one okay Here we go. Oh. oh, sorry. Zoom out. There we go. Okay. Very light wash, I think. I 
think very light. Let's just put some water down. Oh, already it's giving me resistance. This powder. Oh wow, look at that already. Goodness knows where this has gone. You just got to be careful, that's all. I'm just wetting. That's where my powder, that's where my masking powder went. It's hard to see. Oh, wow. I don't even know why I'm laughing. Why am I laughing? Oh, Ali, were your ears burning? Were, I was talking about you. I was talking about, I go, where's Ali and the pigments? My pigment person. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's these ones here. Now these are by Kusakabi. Now I don't know whether you've heard of them. So I'd be... Boss is there? I'm pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, Oasis was the brand. Chrissy, I have a set of brushes I got on Timu. I think they were priced appropriately uh, for uh, to the quality. Seven, seven dollars for the entire set. Funny you should say that. Uh, because I've purchased some ones from Kusakabi 2 they come like that okay but I thought they I thought are they gimmicky probably but I like the the I bought them for the detail funny you should bring up team I was going to bring that up in a minute so but yes so wow look at that okay Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? The only thing that you've got to remember is where you put the powder down. Okay? That's the only thing that you've got to remember. Oh, dear. Oh, hi, Ange. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I find that the synthetic brushes are great for detail but not for large areas because they don't absorb much water yeah I see what you mean yeah oh look yeah you know like everything has its place absolutely and look at this paper how oh just just I love this paper too oh look at this paper what it does um, okay so look at this it's just bouncing off There's my clouds. Well, you know. All right. Yes. No, this brush is really... Yeah. Oh, you love that. Oh, yeah. Timu had the same brushes, Chrissy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got them from Timu. I got these from Timu. I don't know if I shared that. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. I've just got to wait for this to dry or not. Uh, we can um, uh, use the dryer which I've never used the dryer on here so let's see what happens on the powder which is on the surface okay so bear with me for a moment um, here we go hang on a sec it's too noisy is it too noisy? It's too noisy. Give me a minute.
Okay, back. Um, okay, I think I think I was about. I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, what news? Okay. Uh, can you shop at Jerry's because that's where the demo was from? Oh, oh sorry, I've missed something. Um, I don't mind much about Timu due to the news about them. What's happened? I didn't hear. What happened? I think it was about data privacy. Oh. Okay. Oh, do I have to wipe them off? Bugger. All right. So. Oh. Okay, so here we go. First of all, now that these are drying, I'll just bring this up rather than zoom. Oh, you can't see it in real life. I'll have to show you the, uh, for those who missed what I've just done. For those who missed it, here we go. That's these colours here. I was playing. This is what the Harmonia do. There may be a problem with them accessing more data than you'd want out there. Oh, okay. All right. Have to unsubscribe. Undo. All right. So there you go. That's what these are doing. Okay, so, um, I think I would like to put just a little bit more on top. There we go. Just want you to see the mixing situation here. There we go. That's better. That's better. And I want more water here. Oh, look what I just did. Uh, dumb. Why do I do these things sometimes? Okay, so layering. This is a good way to see if it layers. And it does. I only want here. Oh, I like the fact that this powder is just amazing for me. <laughs> Just amazing. So yeah, this is a synthetic brush. So I love this brush so much. Uh, too much, in fact. Um, and the fact that I'll be able to... Here we go. All right see okay um, I actually uh, I'm actually like because I stopped at Michael's art store and bought a, a tempered glass palette so excited 12 by 16 40 percent off coupon oh my gosh okay uh, Timu is basically the same as any other social media app uh, you using YouTube uh, logged in they are gathering info same for you know what I think you've brought it right down to perspective. Yes, that is true as well. Yes, Shandri, I agree as well. Okay, um, um, Avago says, I met a very handsome Robin today in my garden. I'll wait for him with my camera. He was really something else. Oh, wow, make sure you get him then and show us. <laughs> Are you enabling us, Ange? All right, so. Just to show you how this picks up. Look at that. 
how it picks up and this is the synthetic brush so I'm just drawing my brush now this paper is awesome okay wow <clears throat> okay uh, there was a TikToker that said Timu sold her bank details to the black market her financial institution informed her about three pages of debts all of which occurred out of the country um, that happens anyway but yeah well that happens even when you're not on team that happened to my husband who's not on social media but yes it's very bad that that happens okay you'll lure him with peanut butter he can't resist okay all right so I really do have to wait for this to dry but what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to start painting on the inside here and I'm going to be using uh, I've, I've, so it's not going to be the you know a barn owl which is exactly the same colors but I, I want to use the colors that we've been talking about so that's what I'm doing here now um, and I'm going to use the phantom mist for <clears throat> let me see uh, uh, this area here so let me just get some clean water I'll swap that with that okay let me just get a clean paper towel oh I have to erase this on the inside gum eraser because I've put the the powder blender so not the powder blender the power the masking Uh, I've masked here. I've got to remember where I've masked, eh? Here we go. And all right. Uh, okay, using the um. The Phantom Mist. Okay. I hope every every, I hope everyone's week's been going well. Um, mine's always busy. There's always something going on with me. Uh, okay. Um, uh, the powder stuff has me interested. Oh, well, it has me, oh. has me interested as well. Look at that. That's where I put the powder. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's where I put the powder. Look at that. I just want to do a very light wash here. This is where I put the powder. Oh, look, I've put it there too. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm just waiting for this to dry properly. And I'm going to erase. Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh, just amazing. Okay. It's not budging look at that I've put powder there <laughs> I've just got to you just got to remember where it is well it's white you see so never seen anything like it 
Okay. Just have to wait for that to dry a little bit. So bear with me for a moment. I like the edges on the paint, don't you? Uh, so, so you just erase and it's gone? Yes, exactly. Let me dry this. I'm just going to turn the sound off for a minute because it's just too noisy and I'll come back. Hang on. Okay, um, I just read, uh, Abigail, you're asking if this can be removed with a kneadable eraser. Let's try, eh? Uh, well, I'm going to try on the clouds. Oh, actually, we're here. Let's try here because that's where I want it to go. Let's have a look what it's going to do. I think it's doing it. Let's try. Yep. Yep, you can. You can use a kneaded eraser. <laughs> Jeepers creepers. That's just too much for me. I just, it's just too much. I don't know. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do also, look, all of these lovely colours that are coming through, these harmonias, uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to do this dark bit here first. So, uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to uh, put a bit of the uh, Prussian blue, I think, in it. I want to make a nice brown, okay? So it's probably almost muddy, like a, a muddy blue. How about that? Very nice. Yes, very nice. Okay, it's just amazing. I just think it's amazing. Now I'm working on uh, dry, uh, dry, wet on dry. Uh, I'm this is well, this is what I want to do. So, but look at this. Oh. <laughs> it's just oh, I don't understand. It's just way cool way cool now I'm working on a block by the way so if you're interested or if you're curious as to how this paper is how it's 
where it is or what it is, but it's a block. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter uh, block. Um, look, that's just too much for me. I'm just like blown away. I'm just blown away with this. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, and this is the, um, <clears throat> sorry, the mop brush, which I'm probably going to use mostly in this. So, isn't it nice? I mixed the Harmonia, the uh, the Phantom Mist, with a bit of the, the Prussian Blue. Where are you, baby? There you are. Uh, and I'm getting this lovely, lovely, oh, wow. It's a surreal barn owl, isn't it? So, oh, geez, this is so good. <laughs> so excited. Just, I don't even know why I'm being so silly about it, but I just feel so silly about it, just getting excited. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. See, it's not working on here because that bit, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. Okay, I don't know what the difference between Mother of Pearl and Iridescent Pearl in acrylic paint. I can't find any brands that make the Mother of Pearl color. But I can for the Iridescent Pearl. Wow. So what are you going to be doing with it? Because I've seen your artwork, Ali. Very, very nice, I must, I must say. Um, very nice. Um, so what are you painting then okay is this paint archival yes it is light fast and archival yes yes is the answer um, okay uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of red oh, sorry dogs I want to make like a Sienna. I didn't get a Sienna. And um, uh, let me see. A bit of blue and a bit of red. Well, I'm not making a Sienna. I'm making mud, but I want this kind of color. There it goes. That's what I want. So, yeah, okay, they went off. Yeah, they did. Uh, okay, oh, okay, uh, Chrissy, I did manage to get Kusakabi Aquila 18 set. <gasps> Haven't tried them yet. Oh, I did also get Tri Art Liquid Acrylic in the Color Liquid Mirror. I am sad that they discontinued Mother of Pearl Color. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, I'm going to try the Aquila as well. I just got them. I haven't done that either. I'm so... Oh, I'd be interested to see what you think then. Okay, and oh, uh, Abigail, I bought about 20 needed erasers for you... For four euros? That's impossible. Oh my gosh. With all the stuff I have, I have no idea where I put them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh dear. And was this a sneak sneak? I know where most of my stuff is. Not all of it, but most of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Last week, I was cleaning out one of my shelves. And I wanted to figure out how much... I wanted to know where my paper was. So if we're talking things like that, I totally agree. It's... Yeah. There we go. Look, 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 look. I need to rub that bit out there. Oh my gosh. Rub it out, sorry. Erase it out, sorry. That's the way we talk here. Um, yeah. This brush is so cool, by the way. Leonard French French Of 
course, this is going to take time. So um, I know that I'm not going to finish it on stream, but I'm definitely going to finish it. I'm just having an absolute ball. I just lose myself. It's a nice change from pastel. Um, and for all of those who are interested, we do have a, a Facebook group or share your art with x Art, where we share all our um our you know our profiles our work our artwork um any good deals that are happening that you might want to or even a really nice uh video which you think and it doesn't you know a video from somewhere where you think oh the group would absolutely love this yes by all means so the um the link are in the description box below so yeah definitely i'm definitely going to take my time i'm not going to rush this because i think this is um but we're watching the masking powder work we're watching these oh look at this i'm going to show you in the end but all of these beautiful colors are coming through from the phantom mist and adding a bit of that um, the prussian blue and all of these I don't know what these dogs are doing. Yes, very nice. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, I haven't... Okay, Chrissy. Um, I want to explore them with special acrylic effects mediums such as glass bead gel. Ooh, interesting. Oh, you could do it. You could do a lot of things with that Aquila. Yeah, again, Aquila is uh, by Kusakabi. Um, uh, it's another medium totally different oil and water mixing I don't know how it happens but it just does um, so that I, I need to find out and do more about I need to play with it more before I come onto the live stream because it's something that I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit um, I'm yeah before I go into other things, or I might just go into this area, I think, maybe. Yeah. Uh, let me see. So, I haven't... Okay. Oh, okay. Have you tried the lick? Ah, oh, okay. I am... Um says have you okay sneak says oh okay sorry i'm gonna go back up yes on instagram i've seen instagram yeah i've seen ali's uh work on instagram yeah uh, actually i really want this gray and i might because it's a surreal thing i might um really nice for shadows as well these colors I'm not using a small brush as you can see so saying something but I forgot see how this brush lifts really nice really nice all right so I'm going to erase some of that now um, I need to, oh, I'll just have to wait till that dries, I think. Wait till these things here dry fully before I do that. Just a bit scared. I, I shouldn't rush. I'm not going to. Um, uh, so these brushes, while we're waiting for that to dry, look at these brushes. They come like that. 
and they come in a set. See, I've, I've taken the lids off. They're the lids. So I've got them out because uh, this barn owl has some very dainty little spots around here. So I'm actually going to use these, and because I want to test, I want to test these. So there it is. It's like that. So I want to test these brushes. See what it's all about. Look at that lovely point. I think I like that. Um, they're not hair. They're synthetic. Um, I think they're really good for when you um, for when you're traveling. They're small and um, hopefully they're effective. Uh, Chrissy, do you think you could use the powder on areas already painted? Yes, you can, and I will do it. Hi, MD. Hello. I wanted to say hi before I say have a nice weekend. I don't feel well tonight. Well. Thank you for popping in to say hello and hello back to you and uh, rest up and get well as soon as you can. Okay, so yeah, do you, yeah. I wish, Ali says, there we go. I wish I am, okay, okay. All right, so um, I definitely think it, the paper has a lot. Yeah, so these are, There we go. Look how tiny. Like, look at this liner. Like, really? That's for those little hairs. These little feathers that, you know, which I'll probably end up using a bit of gouache for all the white bits that I've missed. But I'm just loving this. Look at this. Look at this so far. I've got to show you the process because, oh, I've got to show you the process. Look at this. These are just these are just the the initial light layers. And look what the powder's doing, like, you know, seriously. Just amazing. It's just amazing these colors. So, while we're waiting for this <clears throat> while we're waiting for this to dry, and I just put these brushes aside. If we're comparing, if we're comparing, um, say we're comparing these granulating mediums with, say, um, Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith and Schmincke have got uh, granulating colours that do this business. All right, so just let me just put this to the side just for a minute and see if we can do that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put some out this is moon glow okay I'm not quite sure I couldn't I th I couldn't rem I couldn't make up my mind whether it was moon glow or bloodstone genuine which was um, uh, which was closer to that mm, binder coming out sorry about that Nothing wrong with the bind. It's nothing wrong with the paint if the binder comes out, you know. And this is undersea green, which I think, oh, look at the binder coming out, which I think is similar to that. Well, let's use another brush. Maybe. Yeah, see, there's that, um, that was the moon glow. And let's just see what it does when it dries. I think this one's more like it. Now, this is Fontaine paper by my favorite paper people, Claire Fontaine. Oh, my gosh, look, it's already starting to granulate. Gosh. Oh, my gosh, look, all already, it's, oh, gosh. It's 
already starting to do its business. Uh, this is uh, this is a sample. This is a uh, Fontaine. Uh, it's called Fontaine. It's watercolor paper, 300 GSM, 140 pound. Cold press, 100% cotton, handmade paper. Okay, let me see. Uh, I love the colors coming through. Okay, Angie's inspiration is now following Ali. Yay! <laughs> Okay, do you think... Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm just waiting for these to dry. So, say I want to put some powder blender on here. So, let's just wait for this to dry and we can compare. Oh, look at that beautiful... Oh, there's a beautiful blue coming through. Sorry, I just need to do this so it can dry and see what happens. We'll come back to this, hey? Oh, wow. Okay, so let's just put that there for the time being. Let's wait for that to dry. Okay, so we want to put this powder blender. Say I want to... I want, um, uh, say I want this a little bit darker here so I'm going to put the powder blender on there so let's just do that not too much a little goes a long way so we're going to uh, say I want this bit here a little bit darker And maybe just a little bit here. All right. And I don't have to wait for it to dry. Remember that. We know about that. So let's come back here. Um, I want my wash. Here we go. Um, oh look, it's already, see, it's just something else, uh, So that's where our blender went. Our, it's not a blender. Our masking powder. Sorry. There's the masking powder. So I have to wait for that to dry. And now I'm going to erase on that. So let's do that, hey? And this is the paper, by the way. Armatruda. Beautiful Italian paper. Okay, so... I'm going to put the hairdryer on this and we're going to erase all of this, okay? So bear with me and we're going to have a look. Um,
Try on scrap paper. <laughs> Sneaks, yeah. Okay, what happens if you don't, uh, if you drop some powder on wet paint? Chrissy, you know me. I love experimenting. All right. Well, let's. Okay, well, we know that this works. Okay, we've done that. Okay, so. Um... Okay, here we go. So how do you want me to try? Try on a... Um, so how do you want me to experiment? What uh, what happens if you drop some powder on a wet on wet paint? Okay, I will do it on... Uh, I won't do it on this piece, but I will do it on, um, on a scrap bit of paper. How about that? Now I'm very, very happy with all of this. Uh, let's go here. Let me get my dryer, my, my vacuum, and I'll vacuum that up. So just to see, don't worry. Um, that's his fur. Okay. So there you go. That really works. I don't want the clouds to be stark white, so we're fine. I just, yeah, cool, eh? Cool, super cool, super cool, super cool. <laughs> I just, um, I love the colours. Um, now, first of all, I'm not sponsored. I don't get paid to talk about these products. Um, just so we're clear. Uh, so, um, and all opinions are my own. Uh, so I have purchased these colors, right? So uh, now the these are the Daniel Smith. Very nice though, very, very nice. You probably notice it more when you've got more color rather than when you're um, when you've put more water. Uh, nice paper indeed as well. Now if we're comparing, Okay, now if we're comparing, excuse the dogs, excuse the dogs. So if we're comparing, uh, there's Schmincke, oh, is it here? Oh, no, it's here. Sorry. So if we're, these are the Schmincke ones, okay? So it wasn't, I didn't do it very dark. It wasn't very dark because it was from a dot and not from a tube. But look what you can see. Uh, the Schmincke are very, very nice as well. Look at all of those colors. So if, so we're comparing here, okay? I think um, the Kusakabi Harmonia uh, watercolors are lovely to work with. Um, you can get some lovely effects. 
they do blend with other paints um, and again again I just wanted to show that how lovely that looks I'm actually going to make bookmarks out of that um, and see that's the Kusakabi so very very nice so I was a bit more gentle and a bit more conservative but I'm slowly going to build I think yeah really and that's all those colors there all that is that yeah um, okay what oh one more thing you wanted me to drop some uh, some of the powder on the <laughs> Jeez, the things you make me do on uh, okay what happens if you drop some powder on the wet paint all right here we go <laughs> we've got to at least try that we'll have to see what happens when it dries but that's it there interesting <laughs> interesting <laughs> it's exciting when you try something you're enjoying oh yeah I know Ange oh look I just oh, just just shake my head that's all I, do. I just shake my head but ooh, look I don't know what to make of it I really don't when it dries I'll take a photo of it and I'll share it on Facebook so we can in our group so we can see what happens I'll wait for it to dry I'll do all of that and see what happens incredible incredible all right okay try uh, let me see sparkles galaxy yes yes <laughs> yes oh look the possibilities are endless okay so um, obviously I didn't get too far I knew I wouldn't but you know that I'm doing this project and see if I can I, I just want I just want to finish it I just really want to finish it this weekend if I can it's just oh I'm gonna to have to get um, maybe a cup of tea or something like that maybe a little bit stronger who knows and just sit and listen to some music and finish my lovely barn owl uh, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to post it and see how we go all right my dear friends I think this is it for today uh, what can I say uh, let's just um, I hope you have a nice weekend thank you for uh, for keeping me company and for all of us keeping each other company and um, I'll talk to you sometime next week again, probably the same time. Um, and bye for now, everyone. And have a lovely weekend and lovely, lovely week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>